All right. Let us let us comment. I'm Jackie and I'm Lisa and we are the Unda Sisters. You know what I do? So guys, we finally have a channel. It's been long overdue due to being speaking about it. We've been saying that we're gonna start a YouTube channel and it's finally here. So today for our very first video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready and you will be joining us as we get ready to go where? Because we're car and sizing. We're car and guys. Stay at home. Stay at home. Do it! Just do it! We'll be telling you about ourselves, where we come from, background things, how we grew up. Not every detail. Not every detail. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into it, guys. We have our sweets. We warm, cozy, feeling cozy. You know, we're gonna get right into it, feeling comfortable. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, great. So, as you can see, we started off by doing our eyebrows. Thanks, right? Off by doing our eyebrows off camera. So, now we're just gonna get right into it. And lashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did our lashes as well. I've been doing makeup since 2016, guys. And I still do not know how to do my eyebrows. I have an excuse, guys. I haven't been doing makeup for that long. So. We wouldn't want to spend time watching me do my eyebrows because. And failing at it. <laughs> but anyway, let's get right into it. I don't think we have to tell them what we're using, do we? No. Anyway, so yeah, obviously, um, as you guys already know, if you don't know, we are sisters. And we're from the older one. I'm kidding. Nobody asked. Um, we're 20 years of age, mm -hmm. and today we're just gonna be sharing with you guys what it means to be 20 and how life has been since then. Dating, you know, school, our road to entrepreneurship. Um, so for those of you who do follow us on Instagram, uh, if not, I'll put the handle down below here. Uh, we're just going to be touching basically on lifestyle, beauty, beauty entrepreneurship, girl talk, life talks, life talk, you know, everyday things, man. You mentioned earlier on in the video that you haven't been doing, you haven't been putting on makeup for too long. Yes, I haven't, guys. I've been, I've been very lazy to put on makeup because I assumed I could do it. Can someone please tell her that it's not easy? So going on to um, learning more about us. So obviously, as you guys know, we're sisters. We come from a Congolese household. Um, we grew up basically with eight siblings. We in are a lot, guys. Please we do are a lot. Them. Don't ask questions. Don't say why. <laughs> we don't know. Anyway, the point of this video is to get to know us. So going back to being 20 and how life has been. Tell us. Like experiences. Start off with like an easy topic, fun topics like dating. High school. It's, it doesn't really mean it. These sweets are not nice. <laughs> I feel like in high school, we're all just like discovering ourselves you know we didn't really know what we wanted we stepped into like a new chapter of our lives going through so many emotions and just being like what the you it's, high school is, is like on. a it's like your transitioning your Point. transitioning period you know like because when you get to from grade eight to nine middle of grade 10 you're a completely different person from what you were before grade middle of grade 10 to end of grade 11 you're a completely different person as well and then when you get to the trick you are a whole new person guys like you transition age of 20 because also you're just stepping into this new chapter of your life as well 
you completely left your teen years behind you. Excuse oh me. my god. <clears throat> behind you. And now you're stepping into the real world, as they call it. Meeting different people, more open minded people, less open minded people. Like different things are thrown at you in the dating scene. People are more open with their sexualities um in varsity um you know people know what they want exactly as opposed to high school where you really don't know where you really don't know you're shying away from certain things so i think um it's obviously yet to be discovered because we just turned 20. some of us are still turning she's still turning i just turned 20 in jan so yeah i mean i sit down with like people that are close to me like my sisters and they tell me about how um relationships coming from now on are like more serious, more serious like you know because you both know what you want you're both leaning towards something it's just a different experience to how it was before and yeah man you're obviously gonna come across you always gonna come across those that are not they don't know what they want trust me. they don't understand themselves so therefore they would rather go through a whole bunch of people before they actually understand you want to come across a whole lot of those and how are you though like what type of what type of what dater are you like are you like someone who dates casually like for those of you who don't know what dating casually is is basically correct me if i'm wrong it's basically someone who talks to different people at the same time even though you're not in a relationship you're just you have your options and then there are other people who just jump into it like from the get-go you've invested your life into this person so yeah man i think if you're gonna be dating someone you'd rather invest in everything like i'm not gonna say we're dating if i'm talking to other people if we're, if i'm talking to other people then i'm talking to other people there's no one that oh yeah yeah, yeah. You, we are all acquaintances mm -hmm. so yeah i'm not a casual dater. are you no i think for me personally the way i've been before <laughs> i was always someone who would put the other person before myself and that's a huge problem ladies i don't think it's advisable for you to do that stepping into a new relationship don't you're meant bring, to think about yourself first yeah don't bring yourself down just to uplift the other you need to think happy you need to think about yourself first think about what makes you happy always put yourself first so you know it helps also with building your self-esteem and knowing that your self-value because once you know that you can easily walk away from this if it's not what you want and if it's not what you want you know for a fact that you're not you that you're not obliged to stay there that is self-value you know already that no this guy is not you know not even just women guys as well this guy is not giving me what i want this girl is not giving me what i want let me step up because it's not going to be good for anyone so i think for me that's something that i really taught myself or was to always put myself first I think there's nothing wrong with stepping out as soon as you see a bunch of red flags or even one because most people tend to stay in relationships with like I'm talking about any type of relationships not just wait hold on anyone that has any different views man comment down below what you think and also don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video guys let's become one let's become a family We'll be having these discussions every time, man. And don't forget, don't, 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 don't feel shy to get involved. If you feel we're wrong, let us know. You were saying? Um, I was saying that with any type of relationship, be it romantic, be it platonic, as soon as you see a red flag, you shouldn't be afraid to just step out. Like, mm -hmm. just pull yourself back. Because some people wait until it's too late. And now it starts bringing them down it starts bringing down their self-esteem everything man so don't be afraid i think that's the one thing i've learned to do so would you say that before you were like 
I would rather language. wait it out and be like, oh, maybe this person will change. Maybe something different will happen. I don't know. Like for me personally, I don't believe. I don't know if people change. Like, I believe that they can. But I know for a fact that no one can change anyone. Because obviously we're Christians. We're firm believers in the word of God. Mm -hmm. And only God can change someone, right? God can maybe influence... Maybe, God can maybe impact someone else's life through you. So it is possible that people might change... But at the same time, it's not always guaranteed. It's, it's not always guaranteed, especially if you've been seeing this happen constantly. Like, for instance, cheating or abuse. Obviously, personally, I've never been in, abusive, in an abusive relationship uh, physically. Um, obviously, cheating, I have not stay in that type of relationship. I wouldn't advise it. Do not call it gangster love. He's <laughs> beating. That's the love, nigga. You'll come out dead. Trust me. But yeah, you know, I. I think it's better in a situation like that if the person is trying to um, influence you to stay, even though you don't want to. I think it's better to hold to to just push back for yourself and with you guys not being together if the person wants to still be with you and they are showing change mm -hmm. and they are making an effort mm -hmm. then you can think about it so let's talk about how we're at this age and how we need to already know what you want you know it's important for you to have your goals and your ideas and your business plans and everything set in motion at this age when i say set in motion i mean like you re you really need to already know what you want to do at this age because if you wait around and wait for the opportunity to come your way it's it's not gonna be it's gonna be bad for you also i think it's important for girls our age to know that there's no need to wait around for anyone there's no reason for you not to already have a plan. Yeah. Right now, you know, to do what you want to do. For me personally, I've always been very ambitious. I've always had plans, you know, in mind of what I'm going to do, what I would like to do. So obviously, um, speaking of like the road to entrepreneurship, I wouldn't really say that I've achieved, I haven't really achieved anything yet in a sense in which, um, you know, my plans are in motion, like companies are up running and all of that stuff, but I already know the plan that I have. I'm focused. And I already know what you want. I've what needs to happen. Exactly. I always like advise my friends, because I know like, it's easy at this age and being a, a woman, a young woman who's still like evolving to be led astray. Not by anyone, even by yourself. Like, it's easy for you to make bad decisions and, and get comfortable and get comfortable with where you are. So I think it's important for us girls at this very moment to start at a young age. Like, you know, start at a young age, figure out what you want to do. Like, don't be comfortable with where you at right now. Like, it doesn't matter if, um, you know, you feel like right now things aren't going as yeah, planned. It's working, they aren't going. Things are gonna go, guys. Like, it's God's time. It's gonna happen. God's time, man. Like, don't force it. Your time will come. As of right now, in terms of the road to our journey to entrepreneurship, we run an online boutique with our mom. So how's that been for you? The pressure? It's actually a lot of pressure, guys. The pressure of having to deliver something and having to, and it being in good quality, guys, it's really a lot of pressure. You have to make sure the materials are good. You have to make sure your product is actually coming. It's actually been uh, shipped off and everything. Like, you're, you're just, the presentation of the whole thing just needs to be great. Otherwise, it's just... 
hate it guys it's really hate it how is it for you i like it like obviously yes you know it's a very flexible okay sorry <laughs> obviously yes um it has its ups and downs i mean i wouldn't i don't think anyone that's started like a a project would say that it was easy from the get-go no it wasn't but i think it's important for us to take note of what's happening right now and learn from it because like she said um you need to ensure that as a as a business owner your the products that you're putting out are well kept the products that you're putting out are good quality that's what attracts more people to come back and buy and you know just support your business so i think it's important to put in the work and the quality should just be good the service should be great just work on that like simple for people who are small business owners you know what it means you know you know how it is to to run a business you know how it is like in terms of the pressure you know what it means to constantly put out good quality because personally for me i've always told myself that with whatever it is that i put out with my brand on it i'll never ever put out something that i personally wouldn't purchase yeah, it doesn't to, make you sense. You have to make sure whatever you, you're selling or providing for people is something you would get yourself. You would get yourself, you know? And it's also something that you would be happy with, like in terms of the quality and how it looks and, you know, all that jazz. So, as for our road to entrepreneurship, it's still pending. It's pending. No, it's not pending. It's not pending, sorry. It's still to be continued. To be continued, it's on its way, it's mm -hmm. going up those steps, it's coming. I'm moving on to the topic of growing up in a Congolese household. <laughs> all of my Congolese people would definitely relate to this because uh, I feel like we all grew up the same, you know. Obviously, I speak to a lot of my Congolese friends, and <laughs> we just relate on stories of, of our childhoods and all of that stuff. It was different, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. It's like very different. It's a very different life. Very different life. Obviously, um, living in SA um, and having different um, types of people around you of different ethnicities, you know, different backgrounds, races, even like it's very much different. Like growing up we would see our friends from school a lot of south african friends a lot of white friends indian friends and they would be so free with their parents you know just not that we're not free with our parents guys. yeah just, we're more like our parents are a lot more conservative a lot of things didn't just go by in our household you know like issues of going out all the time like being so free that you'd be able to stay out the whole night like it was never the case with us and i think that really really like, it obviously plays a huge role in our lives it teaches you to be disciplined guys trust me Ooh. i've always been very outspoken and that does not work in the comments also it doesn't it doesn't so I think for you it was quite different. Like you're very quiet. I'm a very quiet person, guys. I'm very. <laughs> very yeah. I'm a very quiet. Not that quiet, but like I just don't. I only talk when I feel it's necessary. You know, I don't find myself always talking. Like I'm more. So what are you saying? I'm anything? more of a. Ain't nobody saying anything. Though. I'm more of an, uh, an, ooh, yes, an introvert, you know, an, an uh, observer than I am a talker. You know, um, why? Why am I? Why do you feel weird? I said I feel you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, guys. I'm the more, between the two of us, I'm the much more quiet one. I'm also quiet. She's actually very nice, guys. 
what? She's the <laughs> nice one. A lot of people, when meeting me for the first time, would assume that I'm like this mean person, whatever the case may be. When actually, I'm not. I'm actually quite nice, very goofy, um, very outspoken when it's necessary. I also like to observe situations when I first meet people. I don't just talk anyhow. I do. I don't mind doing this. You see, but like, bear mind. I am watching. Anyway, watching who? <laughs> no, like I mean, when I meet new people, I'm not, I'm not scared to speak to you, not knowing what kind of person you are. I'll just speak to you, but I am observing you as I do that. But she doesn't do that. She'll be quiet. I'm very quiet because I like to analyze. Uh, yeah. analyze. analyze. <laughs> I like to analyze situations, you know? And just see how... Like, I overthink things. I'm an overthinker. I also overthink things. Them people. You know, looking at all of my friends who were from different backgrounds, ethnicities, different races, and how they grew up was very different. But I think it definitely has played a huge role in my life with how I view things. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so it just showed me how I would, you know, how. Like it just it helped me a lot with how I've grown up and how I view certain things. Obviously, not forgetting where I came from and how I grew up. But it used to mess me up sometimes, eh? I'd be like, wow. cause I just never. Obviously, as a child, you overthinking things. You're like, why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? Why do they hate everybody me? else is out here living their life like this? I'm out here getting beats <laughs> every day. For what? <laughs> because I'm <laughs> late. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, you know, it's a lot. But one thing I'm very, 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 very much grateful for, one of the things rather, because um, I mean, I don't, I'm not sad at how I grew up. I'm okay with it. I love it. It's it shapes it shaped who I am today. Today, yeah. And one thing that I'm grateful for, and I think all Congolese people can relate to this. Not only Congolese people, but anyone that has really grown up in a household where um, going to church and praying was never an option. And obviously, I've had my you know journey with my religion christianity and all of that stuff and uh, i'm super 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 grateful for that it's definitely shaped my future I'm and my presence it's shaped me as a person the type of person i want to be i made a choice from the time that um i realized it was for my own benefit you know it's not easy though guys i'm not even gonna lie and i think a lot of people can relate to this um especially going through a lot of emotions at a young age um it's not easy to stick it out and be in one accord with the word of god like there's something about being young and feeling like you're too good for it if that makes sense you know I know a lot of people who went through that type of phase and they were just like, no, it's not necessary. What, 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 what? I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll do whatever I want. We'll so cross that bridge when we get there. You know that. So, yeah, man. As we draw near to the end of our video, how has it been shooting your first video? <laughs> It's not as easy as it looks, it's guys. It's not, guys. Yo, it's really nerve-wracking and it's... It's a lot. 
is it is. No, but I'm looking forward to this journey. Looking forward to getting to know more people, building a relationship. It's just you and I. It's us in this together. This is literally how I do my makeup, guys, every day. I'm the person that likes to go all out on my face. I, on the other hand, like to go all out. This is very natural. This is this is me. When I tell you I'm putting on makeup, this is me. I think we decided to just go natural because we're not going anywhere. Exactly. We're going to the game, guys. Makeup. This is what you gotta do, man. Just for the video. Okay, guys. Okay. We are the Umba sisters. But thank you so much for tuning in for those of you who did and stuck to the end. And we hope that you like, subscribe, and uh, comment and share this video, guys. It helps us a lot. Um, definitely follow us on our social medias. We'll put them down in the description below. And we are out of it. Thank you.